Hello and welcome to this video. I'm Omar and today I will show you how you can use the Spark Lines feature in Excel. But before starting, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and then continue watching the video. And now let's go and see how we can apply the Spark Lines. So here I have this table showing the sales done by each salesperson in each of the five months seen here, starting from January until May. And I want to have some mini charts to give me a clear representation of the data that I'm seeing. So instead of using charts, I can use mini charts or what's called spark lines. So how can I do that? I can go into insert and here I have the spark lines tab. And inside it, there are three types, the line, column and win loss. So if I hover over one of these and I read spark lines are mini charts placed in single cells, each representing a row of data in your selection. So let's for example have a spark line for each of these salespersons. So I'll press on line here, data range. So it's this range. And I want the spark line to be placed in cell G2. And I will press OK. So as you can see, it gave me a line chart showing how the sales total changed between months. So January, February, March, April and May. And I will extend it to the other sales persons. So you can see now we have a line for each one of them. And these lines will fit with the size of the cell. So for example, if I make the cell bigger, the lines will be longer. Also the same thing if I maybe make the cells height higher, it will be seen more clearly now. And if I go into spark line here, I can change many things. I can mark the high point, which is the highest point for each one of these graphs. I will uncheck this. I can also select the low point, so it will show the lowest point inside my data. I can show the negative points. In my case, there is no negative points, so nothing will be marked. You can also show the first point and last point. Or you can show the markers, which are the data points in your data. You can also change colors. So for example, change it to another color. And you can change the axis. So for each of these cells, for example, it's taking the lowest point as the reference in the lowest part of the cell and the highest point of the data as the highest point of the cell but the axis for each one of these is different I can for example go to axis and for vertical I can choose same for all spark lines also for the same for the vertical axis maximum value because here we checked the minimum value so the maximum value I will choose same for all spark lines so now the data is more representative and you can see as if there is the same axis for all these graphs. Let's also try to insert column spark lines. So insert column. I will select the data. Enter. Location is H2. That will extend it. Make it wider. So you can see per month the number of sales. I can change the color. And I can do the same things for the axis. Same, same for all sparkles for minimum and for maximum. And here now you can see that I have the lines, spark lines and the columns. Third type is the win loss, but this is mainly when you have negative and positive data. But if we select in this case, 
you will see that all data above are above the middle, so they are all wins. I hope this video was helpful for you to discover the spark lines in Excel, which will help you to represent your data in a quick way in front of you. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and to like and share this video.